Welcome to EPG Patshala. My name is Ritu Shen Chaudhuri. I work with West Bengal State University. I teach sociology. The name of this module is Feminist Methodology in Sociological Research. Feminist Methodology is an emerging discourse with a radical outlook. The feminist thinkers critique the existing mode of social science research. They hold that the body of knowledge is this dominant mode of research produce works within a patriarchal or androcentric ideology. Now, they say that the feminist, the feminist thinkers say that the social science methodologies fail to address the questions that are being raised by women and they fail to think of the significance of the concerns of the feminists. Now, traditionally the approaches to social science methodology is being dichotomized into qualitative and quantitative approaches. Recently, we come to know about triangulation or mixed methods. Feminists hold that in all these three approaches, we could see that these all these three approaches could remain gender blind if the ideology that works behind these approaches remains unaddressed. Now, the quantitative research methodology is associated with positivism, objectivity, objective neutrality, validity and as such positivism fails to understand the significance of social context and experiences of human beings in social science research. Qualitative method on the other hand is grounded on interpretation and subjectivity. Yet, both qualitative research and quantitative research fails to think of the significance of the voices of the woman. Triangulation is no exception. Thinking of these problems which are inherent in the existing mode of social science research, the feminists have thought of an alternative. They thought, they have thought about feminist methodology. Now, at the very outset, it should be made very clear that feminist methodology is not one. As there are various strands of feminist thought, there are various strands of feminist methodologies. Yet, there are certain commonalities shared by these contending trends. In this module, we would be talking about these basic tenets of feminist methodology as well as the specificities of the different strands of feminist methodologies. Method, methodology and epistemology. Epistemology is the theory of knowledge. It deals with roles, ethics, interpretation and assumptions of knowledge. Methodology deals with the theory and analysis of how research should proceed. Method is the technique for gathering information or data. Method, methodology and epistemology are interrelated. Methodology and epistemological question. Methodology addressing how we produce knowledge is an epistemological question. It outlines the rationale as well as the orientation of the research methods. Simplistically, epistemology 
is the theory of knowledge that outlines a set of presumptions about the social world involving institutions, interactions and discourses. Methodology is about who can be a knower or who has the authority to know what can be known or what are the parameters of knowledge, who decides what is to be known, how on what basis is this decision taken. Based on these assumptions, an individual researcher has to decide upon what he or she can or cannot study and how he or she can or cannot conduct a study. Methodology a political question. There are at least three ways in which methodology invokes politics. First, it is the system of hegemony which determines who can participate in the knowledge producing processes and whose views on knowledge have the potential to gain broader acceptance. Second, a specific body of knowledge mirrors the social location of the particular knower. Third, a body of knowledge often results in approving or disapproving certain kinds of voices or discourses. Feminist critique of epistemology. The dominant knowledge practices disadvantage women by excluding them from inquiry, denying them epistemic authority, representing them as inferior, deviant or important only to attain patriarchal goals, rendering women's activities, interests and gendered power relations invisible, producing knowledge that reinforces gender and other social hierarchies. Feminist methodology. Feminist methodology emanating from activist and academic efforts is a cumulative discourse. It is always receptive to newer insights. The consciousness raising groups developed increasing consciousness about the stark incongruities between their lived experiences as women and the mainstream or mainstream discourses on theory and research. The focus on methodology gained momentum with the publication of a seminal interdisciplinary anthology, Feminism and Methodology, Social Science Issues, edited by Sandra Harding in the year of 1987. Reconceptualizing Research Modern positivist thought involves measurement, prediction, deductive logic, truth, verifiable reality, objectivity of the researcher. The postmodern, post-positive thought involves experience, description, inductive logic, specific to general, multiple truths of multiple experiences, and subjectivity of the researcher. Feminist critique of positivism, the critique of objectivity. Feminist theorists make a strong critique of positivism. The positivists affirm the existence of an objective reality leading to an invariable and universal knowledge of truth. Applying specific scientific methods, the objective reality can be captured accurately. Without repudiating objectivity, the feminists tend to give it a different spin. Strong objectivity, grounded on strong political commitments, does not call for value neutrality. The starting point for knowledge production as per strong objectivity is the excluded experiences and silenced voices of marginalized others including women. Feminist critique of positivism. Critique of the binary mode of knowledge. Positivistic sociological theorization rests on paired concepts opposed to each other. Binaries of knower known subject object, reason emotion, science humanity, science nature, nature culture, public private, Occident, Orient, Self, Other, Masculine, Feminine and so on. Dichotomies are grounded on the division between male subject and female object. The binary mode of production of knowledge hegemonizes the object of knowledge. It forgets that the known are also potential knowers. The objects of research are also doing subjects. Critique of relativism. Postmodernism offers feminism some useful methodological reconceptualizations, particularly in terms of a caution against generalizations. Relativism, which could be counted as a marker of the postmodern turn, is not always supportive to the feminist cause. Relativism is a way of being nowhere while claiming to be everywhere equally. The equality of positioning is a denial of responsibility and critical inquiry. Basic tenets of feminist research. Feminist research takes the view from below and remain non-hierarchical. 
seeks to change the world, not just to understand it. Has alternative origin of problems, alternative hypothesis and evidence. Is concerned about women rather than men, is a part of a broader struggle. Works as action research, as consciousness raising for both researchers and respondents. Standpoint epistemology. Knowings are not universal. No one can have complete objective knowledge. What one knows is affected by one's subject position in the society. No two people have exactly the same standpoint. We must not take the standpoint from which we speak for granted. Instead, we must recognize it, be reflexive about it, and problematize it. Following the Hegelian concept of master-slave dialectic, standpoint theorists emphasize women or marginal groups as the superior knowers. The situated everyday women's experience should serve as the starting point of the social science inquiry. A standpoint theorists. In this slide, we can see the photographs of two renowned standpoint feminists, Sandra Harding and Dorothy Smith. Standpoint epistemology prefers strong objectivity. Some social situations are scientifically better than others as places from which to start off knowledge projects. Speaks about more than one standpoint from which to produce partial knowledges. The alternative to relativism is partial, locatable, critical knowledges sustaining the possibility of webs of connection called solidarity in politics and shared conversation in epistemology. Points at the inseparability of knowledge and power do not make authoritative truth claims. They try to remember the diverse nature of women's experiences varying in terms of space, time, class, race and so on. In this slide, we can see a picture consisting of three fishes. The smallest fish, which will be eaten up by other fishes, thinks that there is no justice in the world. The fish next to it, which will be eating the smaller fish, thinks that there is some justice in the world. The biggest fish, which can eat any other fishes, yet would not be eaten by anyone, thinks that the world is just. Some important concept. Dorothy Smith's institutional ethnography explicitly couples an emphasis on structures of power with the micro-level practices that make up the everyday life. Patricia Hill Collins uses the term matrix of domination to underscore one's position in society is made up of multiple contiguous standpoints rather than just one essentialist standpoint. Collins asserts that people simultaneously experience and resist oppression on three levels. The level of personal biography, the group or community level of the cultural context created by class, race, gender and the systematic level of social institutions. Limitations of the standpoint theories. Feminist methodology hardly incorporates the standpoints of women from the understated communities and nations and their male associates. This happens in spite of the fact that consideration of the racial, ethnic dissimilarities and joint strategies for fighting racism remains a key theme of the second wave of the feminist movement. Standpoint theory does not address the questions like if knowledge ought to take off from the perspective of the oppressed, how can one decide who is more oppressed? Can only women understand women? Why do the peripheral communities or individuals have a less distorted perspective? And in what way does it occur? Newer insights. There is an increasing awareness amongst the feminist researchers of the importance of women's experiences in a global context with the respect to the issues of imperialism, colonialism, and national identity. Feminists doing international research trying to voice the others in a global context should remain responsive to the deep-seated undercurrents of power within the process itself. Post-colonial feminist epistemology, Uma Narayan critiques Western feminist epistemology from an Indian feminist perspective. Feminist epistemology poses political problems for non-Western feminists. Positivism is not necessarily the main target of feminism for non-Western feminists. It is not always advantageous to have the epistemic advantage, which is the ability to see a situation from more than one context. Chandra Talpade Mohanty Chandra Mohanty's work have been widely accredited as a major challenge to the mainstream Western feminist thought. Mohanty's seminal work, 
under Western eyes, feminist scholarship and colonial discourses condemns the inherent Eurocentrism of the radical Western feminist discourses. These discourses, as reflected in the Western feminist texts, produce the third world woman as a systematized and homogenized category as a singular monolith. Gayotri Chakraborty Spivak talks about the problems of representation of the third world subaltern woman. Can the subaltern speak? She asks and complicates the whole question of feminist methodology. The subaltern can actually speak, but they cannot be heard. Once they can speak, they are not subalterns anymore. To address this theoretical political impasse, she proposes a tentative methodological way out, strategic essentialism. It brings about a sort of provisional solidarity among different contending groups agreeing temporarily upon an essentialist stance to work together. Conclusion Feminist methodology works from the periphery to the core. It questions the dominant forms of knowledge building that define in fixed terms who can be a knower and what can be known. In this part of the web project we had been talking about feminist methodology. Feminist methodology, as we have already seen, does not believe social science research as a value-neutral endeavor. The feminist thinkers believe that feminist research and feminist methodology should address the voices of the marginal. They avowedly bring into consideration the voices from below, the voices of the marginal people who had been systematically excluded from the whole discourse of social science research till date. Feminist methodology thinks that the whole question of research and whole question of methodology is to be tied to the broader struggle against patriarchy, to the broader movements that women do throughout the world. Thank you.